Technicians talk about air-fuel ratios. Engineers use a term called lambda, and they use it to describe the ideal air-fuel ratio, or the perfect balance between the air and the fuel. Lambda is going to be a number that represents the ratio of how much oxygen was actually present in the combustion chamber compared to how much should have been there, or what did we need to get perfect combustion? The stoichiometric ratio, lambda, would be 1.0, and that means we don't have any extra fuel or have any extra air, and this would only be for gasoline. A lambda value that's greater than 1 would mean that there's more air than fuel or a lean mixture. A lambda value less than 1, that means we have more fuel than air or a rich mixture. Let's look at the different fuels though. Each fuel is going to have an ideal air fuel ratio. In order to get a lambda of 1, gasoline has to have 14.7 parts of air to every part of fuel. Let's pick another one. E85 is common. That would be 9.8 pounds of air in order to get one part of fuel to make a lambda value of one or to make stoichiometric. Now if we have a less than lambda value of one, that means we were rich. When we look at a 0.85, a 0 0.85, that means we're a rich mixture of 12.5. That E85 would be a rich mixture of 8.3 so different fuels indicate different air fuel ratios at the same lambda value if we're greater than a lambda value of 1 and we're lean we can see that the gasoline at 1.1 1.1 is certainly higher than 1.0 and that would give us 16.9 parts of air the E85 blend would give us 11.2 pounds of air. Now we have to add this value or this PID that we found. It's a new PID in different manufacturers and it's found in Diagnostic Test Mode 1 or your PIDs, parameter identifications, and it's alcohol fuel percentile or percentage. And you can read it to the right and it says 10 percent. So on this vehicle it's running a 10% mixture of alcohol. If you seem to be running too rich or too lean and your lambda value is never correct, try to find the alcohol fuel percentage PID and see how much alcohol is inside the gasoline. Now if you don't have this PID on your scan tool or if the, it's an older vehicle and it doesn't have it, then do an alcohol test on the actual fuel you remove from the fuel tank. It's never a good idea to remove hot fuel for testing from the fuel rail. Always get it out of the fuel tank. If the engine's cold, then of course you can get it off the rail.